Well, hello there. I'm Teresa Lawler, and um, I'm an artist and also an art teacher. I've, um, I have such a love of art and enjoy creating and always have, always have. And um, I just enjoy the whole process and happy to be here with you. Um, what inspires me to create? What inspires me most is my surroundings. I grew up in Montauk. I've traveled to New Hampshire. I love the beach and the ocean. And the beauty of nature it has always inspired me. My father used to, um, he was a doctor and he loved science and nature and really inspired me to appreciate the surroundings, whether it be the water, the birds, the grasses, um, the rocks. We used to collect rocks. It was really uh, to appreciate everything and all the simple things that are in nature. And so that's really what I love to paint, draw, and to create with my glass, as we call it, painting with glass. Um, there are many recurring themes. Probably water is the most recurring. Um, the ocean, the lakes, the ponds, the river, anything that has to do with water. We're probably like 90% water ourselves. So when we look out, we not only see the beauty in the water, whether it be the reflection or the colors and the changes of the color, but we also see part of ourself in it because we just love, love all these things in nature, such as water. Um, and the things that, the things that really um, water effects such as plants and animals, all the things that water really helps to grow and we can appreciate. The evolution of my art production. Okay, that's a, that's a really good question. Um, I, I can remember going to Catholic school and having a woman come in once a month and teach us to draw. And drawing just, I, I loved it. Um, I, I loved observing and watching. And, and as I grew up, it, it really grew as I grew up in school, drawing. And then from drawing, it went to painting watercolors. Um, and then when I learned the medium of glass, it, it just sparkles and, and that's how I grew and I still do today. I still paint, I still draw and, um, and I do a lot of, I fuse a lot of glass. And so I think that art isn't just one thing. I use my photography, I use, um, and my photographs, I use, um, Everything, everything connects to each other in art mediums. Even oil, I, I sometimes will take my oil paints out. And so the evolution grows from simple in the beginning to growing and becoming more adept at, at um, different things. Um, my, fir my other personal development was that um, I became an art teacher. My love of art um, influenced me so much and I love teaching. So I became an art teacher and it, it just, um, it helped me grow in so many ways. I, I often felt that the most important thing as an art teacher was not only to love children, but also in my own art to grow and learn every single medium that I could, whether it be printmaking, um, painting, um, everything to me 
was important to learn in order to teach my children those techniques. My students were amazing. They taught me so many things. They're just so great. They, um, they influenced me in that they needed to grow and I needed to grow. Um, so every new subject in art I explored and that helped me to teach them. And I taught at East Hampton for about 20 years and I, I truly miss the children because, or the students, a lot of them, it was K through 12. And a lot of them, um, I felt we learned together and we grew together. And that was to me really important, important. So um, that's how I became to learn about glass. Um, I said, what is this? I don't know this. How do I do this? How can I learn? So I found a student up um, or a teacher up in Vermont and New Hampshire. And that's how I first explored glass and how to do glass fusing. And it just opened up doors. It was great. Um, in, in thinking about the process and, and the act of creating with glass and when you when you have glass and you get a piece of glass that has beautiful blues you think of nature's nature's sky or nature's water you think of um, the glistening on the ocean when you go to see it and the sun sparkles on it and what could be the texture of the sand or the the um, the color of the waves or the distance on the horizon. There's this piece that I really love and that it, it, it speaks about those colors, the colors of the sky and how the horizon is a little bit lighter, but yet the water in the distance is darker. And what I've done with this is use things called crushed glass, called frit, and the frit kind of sprinkles down on here and then I've gone to a lighter color and even used some liquid glass for the waves and how the waves give you that texture that you see and the sand with the texture of the sand and so this piece is one of the pieces that I, I really love because of that because the nature is shown with the colors and Many times when I create something like this, I will start with a, a painting. I'll go to the beach and spend the day with um, a group called the Wednesday group and we'll paint the area. And um, so a lot of times, whether it's a painting or the color of the glass or the color of the crushed glass called Frit, it, it really combines, that combination of two mediums are combined together to create a painting that's like this. Um, another one that's a little bit different is a technique of weaving glass. And this piece I created with the colors that I love and, and it reminded me of nature as well. If you look at it, you can see that there is a sky. Even though it's weaving, there is um, a color of the sky and then the water. Additionally, later, because of the pandemic, I, um, my husband and I um, were isolated for over a month and I did sneak to the dumps and there was a, a dragonfly that just flittered around the truck and it inspired me to go to my studio and paint and make out of glass dragonflies, butterflies, because I looked for that change, that release of flying and getting out in back into nature. And so you'll see and you'll notice that several of my pieces have dragonflies in them. And some of them are pieces I had previously made and I added dragonflies or I made new ones and included dragonflies. And to me, it's just that that nature that that says, you know, 
take flight, take wing, and, and let's get out and be ourselves again. And so that's why a lot of my glass pieces have that. This piece in particular is a process and I've added between the layers of glass um, uh, a material, it's actually baking soda, and an aloe, and I've put little pieces of it in between the glass, and it creates bubbles. And when I did more research on the bubbles and all about it, I found a theory by scientists called thermophoresis. And what that, that theory says is that life began with the process of gas, heat, and liquids. And it's sort of the process of what you see in my bubble glass pieces. So not only are you released with the beginning of life with the dragonflies and butterflies, but also with the process of bubbles. And so that's, this one is particularly meaningful to me. This piece is, um, before I was a teacher, I worked in a flower shop and I worked in the greenhouse. And I grew poinsettias, geraniums, we grew tulips and all different kinds of plants and flowers. And I go back to that. I go back to the times when I love flowers still. I love planting and, and gardening. And so this piece inspired me because spring, we all want spring, you know, we want life to begin again. And so this piece is particularly meaningful for that. Um, another piece that's meaningful is the piece that I first made. Um, and this was my first piece I learned up in New Hampshire from an artist in New Hampshire. And so this was my first landscape. We have um, a house on a river. It's a cabin, a log cabin. And my favorite place was to close my eyes and be there and watch the, the river flow down the rocks. And so that's another kind of connection to nature and my love of nature. Uh, the only other thing I can show you is that the material that glass comes in is a powder and it also comes in crushed glass pieces called a, f a fine frit, a little bit larger, and as well crushed pieces that look like rocks. And even though they, are, they look like rocks, they're actually pieces of glass. So it, the glass comes in sheets and stringers and liquid, all different materials to paint your canvas glass piece. The notion of success in my art, in my, my glass painting art, is that I'm always looking forward to creating with glass because there's, it's like a science project. There's always something new, whether it be um, a technique or a skill that I can learn. I'm never bored, um, whether it's weaving or it's usually a, a type of landscape or a type of nature, but I think what I look forward to most of all and find the most successful is that I am never bored with creating with glass. It's just, um, it's, it's just an amazing process. It's all about the process, even in sometimes instead of the product, that I can put it in a kiln, I can fuse it all together, and sometimes when I tack fuse, there's this texture. Other times it's flat and smooth and shiny, and it it's just um, it just the fact that it never is um, ending. It really there's never end to it. There's always something that I can do with the next step and in creating. So I think um, success is just being happy, just being happy with the process. And well, does it always come out right? No. Sometimes it breaks and cracks and, 
and um, but but I've learned something and my love of learning is constant and so that to me is the success. <laughs>